Hey guys, in this video about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, I will show you a quick way how you can work in the Fusion page if the viewer is very small. So if I come here into the Fusion page, by the way, if you don't know how to open all of the other pages, yes, on the iPad, we can open all of the other pages like the edit page and even the Fusion page. There's a video here in the description and also on my channel, check it out. What I'm talking about today is, let's say for example, I have here a 3D keyer and I have my media pro open and I also have my inspector open and this one is now super, super small. Also on top, I only have the 11 inch iPad Pro. That means everything is a bit smaller as well. What can you do even on a small screen size like that? So obvious, if you don't need the media pool, close the media pool, then this one, this one will be already bigger. But I will now close also the inspector. We have two windows here because in the Fusion page, we can actually look at something before and after, but we can decide what we wanna look at all the time. So for example, I can right click here on my 3D keyer and say here, view on the left view, or the right view. So for this tip today, I will do this now on the left view because then I can come up here to this icon and only show one viewer. So now if I open my inspector, I see my screen bigger and I can go through all of the steps here. I can use the 3D gear, click on something here inside and do the 3D gear magic. So let's undo this. One thing to notice, if you have the magic keyboard, you can actually hold down the command key and then use here the trackpad and just with two fingers on the trackpad, I can now zoom in or out. If you have connected a mouse, like this one for example, I use the Logitech MX2, I have now the mouse here. If I use the scroll wheel, I can go up and down. If I hold down command, I can zoom in and out. So wherever you have to work, you can work with this and then change the position wherever you want. By the way, the MX also has a wheel here on the side, so I can even go right, left, up, down, and if I hold down command key, I can zoom out or in. And that also works here for the note tree area. So for example here, if I use my scroll wheel or the two fingers, I can zoom around here in this area. But if I want to make this all a bit smaller, I can hold down the command key and now change the screen size. By the way, this is a little accident of the iPad. If you hold the command key longer, it will show you some um, shortcuts here, but just ignore that and do your thing and all is fine. Now this is all smaller and I can work with this. So this is how I would work in the Fusion page to make my viewer bigger and see more here from the note tree and still have this one here open, the inspector, to do my edits and change all of my stuff. I hope you like this little tip about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, I created a complete masterclass for beginners, beginner to pro, a DaVinci Resolve iPad masterclass. You will find a link in the description. So if you take it serious, check out this link. I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, hit like, subscribe if you learned something and we see us in the next video. Bye.